Hello, dear students of uh, second prep. Let's go to start our episode today. The first episode as we have to explain the uh, motion, especially the uh, uh, oscillatory motion. Firstly, we should know how can we uh, deal with uh, motion as uh, motion from the previous episode is the change in the object from our change in the position of the object as time passes. يعني بغير مكاني بمرور الوقت. So here we have to know what is meant by motion as we studied before in first prep. But in this year we will study the periodic motion. Okay? So what is meant by periodic motion? يعني إيه periodic motion? طبعا lesson عندنا the title of this lesson is called the oscillatory motion and oscillatory motion معناها as vibrational motion أو حركة اهتزازية. So let's go to start with the first point in our episode today as we have to know what is meant by uh, طبعا أول حاجة هنبتدي بيها the periodic motion. Periodic motion as we have to know here is the motion تمام repeated at regular periods of time at regular periods of a of time okay time يبقى هنا we know what is meant by the periodic motion periodic motion is motion repeated بتتكرر at regular periods of time في اوقات طبعا منتظمة so as we have for example motion of uh, rotary b rotary b rotary b اللي هي النحلة اللي احنا بنلعب بيها كده rotary b is called the periodic motion how can we answer this question as give reason for because uh, its motion is repeated at regular periods of time so we can use the definition to answer this question we have many examples about the periodic motion as the motion of swing for example as motion of uh, pendulum or simple pendulum and so on so now we know dear students دلوقتي احنا عرفنا what is meant by the uh, oscillatory motion uh, the periodic motion عرفنا معناها تمام؟ طيب we have another point we have here the periodic motion as the motion regularly repeated at equal periods of time but on the other side عندنا حاجة تانية اللي هي اسمها the uh, oscillatory motion we have to differentiate here between the periodic motion and oscillatory motion ازاي نقدر نفرق ما بين periodic motion and oscillatory motion oscillatory motion is a type from the periodic motion يعني هي oscillatory motion هي اصلا تايب فروم ذا بيريودك موشن طيب لو نبتدي كده نشوف مع بعض يعني ايه اوسيلاتري موشن اوسيلاتري موشن which means what here this motion motion on the two sides of rest points or the origin points we can replace rest point with the origin point as for example we have here the most uh, famous one is the uh, pendulum or simple pendulum yani we have here as this point like that يعني for example and here we have pendulum lower at point A this simple pendulum will move on the two sides right and left side as to point B then return back through point A to point C as you see like that so here in this case the object moves 
on what? On the two sides here and here of the rest point or the origin point. يبقى عرفنا يعني ايه اوسيلاتري موشن. So we should know here some uh, definitions or uh, some uh, as concept of the oscillatory motion. Any oscillating object, any oscillating object has number one amplitude. Number one is amplitude. يعني لما اجي اقول له يعني amplitude هقول له amplitude اهي. Amplitude is the maximum displacement. وكلمة displacement يعني مسافة. طبعاً not actually distance يعني but we have a difference we will study in third prep. هناخدها في ثالثة عددي بعدين. يبقى maximum displacement away from rest point أبعد حاجة عن rest point so here we have as for example يعني from A to B the body will stop at B then return back to A again as this displacement مثلا for example equal 4 cm so the amplitude here equal how many equal 4 cm What is meant by? I will the maximum displacement away from the rest point equal how many? Equal four centimeter. Okay, we have another uh, طبعاً, uh, definition here. طبعا عرفنا amplitude معناها ايه. عندي طبعا حاجه اسمها complete oscillation. Complete ودي مهمه جدا. Complete oscillation. يعني one oscillation عشان اعرف to calculate the number of oscillations during the motion of the object complete oscillation معناها ايه؟ معناها when the body passes through the origin point يعني عدى من ال origin point to successive times to successive times يعني عدى مرتين ورا بعض from the what from the origin point يعني for example If we have an oscillating body, as you see here, as simple pendulum bardo, move from point A to point B. Okay? This motion or from A to B one time. Okay? Time. Then return back أو رجع تاني to point A يبقى هنا عمل how many عمل half oscillation okay then the body moves from point A to point C like that in this direction then return back again so we have another half oscillation hello are we kid so how many amplitudes we talk about oscillation but we should know how many amplitudes we know now amplitude is what is the maximum displacement away from rest point how many amplitudes here And then I come amplitude out. One, two, three, and four. So now we can conclude in one oscillation equal four amplitudes.
اظن سهله طيب يبقى ال1 كومبليت اوسيليشن ايكوال 4 امبليتودز طيب سو so, عندنا حاجه اسمها بيريودك تايم اسمها بيريودك تايم او نبتدي ممكن مش بالبيريودك تايم ممكن نبتدي ب الفريكونسي فريكونسي اللي هو التردد فريكونسي فريكونسي از اف وات از مينت باي فريكونسي هقول له نمبر اوف اوسيليشنز دان ان 1 سكند سو هير ذا ميجرنج يونت اوف تايم از وات از 1 سكند يعني if we have time in minutes we should convert into what in one into second يعني multiply our time 60 okay so as mathematical relation or magic triangle here we have what and what and what we have number one frequency here f equal what equal number of oscillations over time if you want to calculate number of oscillation يعني لو انا عايز احسب number of oscillation هقول له equal what frequency times time if you want to calculate time هقول له number of complete oscillation over frequency يبقى هنا عرفت ان انا how can we if we remember على فكرة the mathematical relation or the mathematical law we can know the definition يبقى the frequency is what is the number of complete oscillations over time and the measuring unit of time is second not minute not hour okay we have another concept here is the periodic time periodic what periodic time periodic time or pt pt as you see like that periodic time is time needed to make one oscillation صح تمام طب انا ازاي اعرف ذا ماتيماتيكال لو ازاي اكتبه هير وي هاف ا تراينجل اور ماجيك تراينجل لايك ذات وي ستارت وذ وات هنبتدي بمين اقول له بيريودك تايم بي تي ايكوال وات ايكوال تايم نيدد يبقى اكتب التايم فوق تو ميك وان اوسيليشن يبقى هنا تحت نمبر اوف اوسيليشنز يبقى وي هاف ذا اوبوزيت از فريكونسي ايكوال نمبر اوف اوسيليشنز اوفر تايم وايل بيريودك تايم ايكوال تايم over number of complete oscillation طبعا here we talk about periodic time and the measuring unit of periodic time is second part is second okay so uh, if we have a problem here dear students لو انا هشتغل على problem uh, مثلا for example here we have uh, مثلا uh, body نكتبها كده مع بعض makes 300 oscillations in two minutes يبقى calculate frequency and periodic time okay هقول له يبقى ال frequency equal what equal number of complete oscillation over time so number of complete oscillation equal 300 over time 2 minutes 2 minutes uh, we should convert into second يعني 2 times 60 equal 120 so equal what يبقى by using calculator هقول له 300 divide 120 equal what equal 2.5 2.5 what hmm? 2.5 watts measuring unit is hertz 
the measuring unit of frequency is hertz. طيب sometimes I need to calculate the periodic time. أنا عايز أحسب the periodic time. هقول له يبقى the periodic time equal ها time over العكس بقى number of complete oscillations. يبقى 300 يبقى 120 يبقى التايم فوق over 300 equal what by using calculator هقول له اهو 120 over 300 equal how many equal 0.4 0.4 0.4 ها periodic time يبقى the measuring unit is second because the measuring unit of periodic time is a is second طيب we have another rule سهل جدا this law or this rule is called what هي now we have number one as you see هقول له periodic time أو ال ال هنا هكتب one وهنا هكتب periodic time هنا هكتب frequency which means what يعني ايه الكلام ده يعني ال frequency equal 1 over periodic time and periodic time equal what equal 1 over frequency يعني I can calculate what if I, I can calculate frequency ممكن I can calculate periodic time يعني we know now ان ال frequency times periodic time equal what مين يقدر يحسبها اقول له frequency times periodic time equal 1 اهو قدامنا الماثماتيكال لو frequency times periodic time equal 1 or equal unity 1 يعني unity وحده why عندي frequency equal 1 over periodic time صح the relation here between frequency and periodic time is inversely proportional. يعني if frequency increase the periodic time decrease and so on. يعني واحد فوق اهو والتاني تحت انا بقولها لكم بالعربي اهو. يبقى الريليشن ما بينهم inversely proportional. يعني هنا why the, the frequency and the periodic time equal unity ده give reason. قال له because frequency and periodic time are what inversely proportional يعني ايه inversely proportional ما ممكن we have another give reason اهو this question or this answer we we have uh, as to uh, مثلا for example give reason for frequency and the periodic time are what are inversely proportional give uh, يعني هنا this answer we can use it as a give reason هقول له inversely proportional معناها عكس بعض يعني هقول له because if frequency increase the periodic time decrease or decreases and vice versa well axis يعني if frequency decrease the periodic time is أو أيوة increase يبقى uh, we know now how can we calculate the frequency periodic time تمام يبقى uh, now dear students we know how can we deal with this lesson طبعا we finish this lesson الحمد لله we know now uh, what is meant by periodic motion what is meant by oscillatory motion خلي بالنا الروتري بي not oscillatory motion it is a periodic motion because rotary بي its motion is repeated regularly at a at equal periods of time or as time passes while swing or uh, uh, tuning fork tuning fork or uh, مثلا pendulum considered as what 
as uh, oscillatory motion because they move on the two sides of the rest point. Today we know what is meant by amplitude, what is meant by frequency, what is meant by uh, periodic time, and we know the measuring unit of each one of them. Until we meet again, thank you, see you, and goodbye.